Sonic Colors is getting a remaster, and I'm really excited for it. Because this game is more than just a port, it's more than just an HD remaster. Sonic Colors Ultimate will have additional content that wasn't in the original game, such as a customizable Sonic and Tails, such as the Jade Wisp from Team Sonic Racing, such as Rival Rush Mode where he gets Race Metal Sonic. Wait, did I say Tails? Well, he's not playable in the game, right? Wait a minute, is that Tails' icon? Holy crap! Holy crap! Tails gonna be playable in Sonic Colors Ultimate! I honestly, I didn't think they would do this. Tails hasn't been playable since Sonic 06. And it would really make sense because they made him uh, a coward in Sonic Forces. And he's a fan favorite. So, wait a minute. Is that Sonic? Time to think of it. The screenshot where Sonic's running through Tropical Resort. And Tails still have a life icon on there. Oh, it's actually the customizable player icon that you can choose. Actually, no, no hold on, that doesn't make any sense, because the player icons are circular. Tails' life icon is just like Sonic's. In fact, we get to see the other player icons, and they're the same thing. If, like, why would their, your life icon have Welcome to the Next Level? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, I know what you're going to ask. If Tails is playable, then why didn't they advertise that in the trailer? Well, there are actually some ex explanations for this. One, these screenshots were taken during development, and Tails wasn't implemented into the game yet. Now, this is not true because these screenshots were actually taken recently. The, the footage we've seen from the trailer were actually from 2020. So, that can't be the reason. Two, they're still working on Tails. Maybe he's not ready yet. That probably probably makes more sense. Three, this was probably done on purpose as a teaser. Well, I don't know if anyone thought of that, but it could be the case. And four, they wanted to save that announcement at a later time, before release. Well, why would they do that? Because they don't want to oversaturate the game, meaning that all, all the Sonic fans, they're going to be, like, overwhelmed with news, and they're going to get tired of it, and they're like, well, you gave it the whole game away, so, I don't care. There's actually a video that explains why there wasn't a game announcement before. I'll link it in the description. So what are my thoughts on Tails being playable in Colors Ultimate? Honestly, I am really happy, like... About time, Tails hasn't been playable since Sonic 06. This would be the first time Tails has been playable in 15 years. But what about his gameplay? Now, some some are thinking that he's going to play exactly like Sonic, like how in Sonic Forces, Shadow plays exactly like Sonic. I don't exactly want that for Tails. Yeah, he can have, you know, Sonic's core gameplay, like, you know, the boost and the slide, the stomp, but, you know, Instead of giving him a double jump, give him a flight ability. Tails being a playable character makes sense because he is with Sonic throughout the entire game in like almost every cutscene. Seriously. The only role he had in the game was translation and navigation. I'm honestly surprised that Blind Squirrel Entertainment is actually, you know, giving Tails a bigger role than he had in the game. They're actually putting a lot into this remaster. Colors Ultimate is basically Mania Plus, but it's a boost game. So what do you guys think about Tails being a playable character in Colors Ultimate? Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.